ready? They're almost to that stoplight down there. Are we live? moving real slow. I mean, we might even want to wait until they hit Diamond Bank. Okay. When they hit... Can we say anything about the watermelon sponsors, or we should just shut our mouths? I don't know. Did they pay you to say anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. Good idea. I don't feel like you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, ad revenue is a big thing. Don't give away product for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I work in sales. <laughs> So we know for certain that the Grandmasters are up first. So what, just mentioned the Sheriff's Office? Yeah. Amanda's bath and body. Jason and Amanda Ward. Is that Ward or I've seen it in here. There it is. Okay. What's the name? Doyle, Doyle Webbs. May not be in there. No, yeah, I've seen it. I thought I saw it. That's right, I'll just I saw some somewhere that somebody was running for lieutenant governor. Let me go back through. Judge Joseph Wood for Lieutenant Governor. Is that the same one? Yeah. This is Shelly B. Short with Southwest Arkansas Today, and we are live streaming the Watermelon Parade for you. I'm here with my guest announcer. I'm John Gladden, um, Assistant Director out at, Hems at Hempstead Hall. This is the 45th Annual Watermelon Festival, and this is the first parade since the 1970s, so it has been that long. They're heading down Main Street now towards downtown, and they will... Proceed all the way downtown, take a left on 2nd Street, a right on Elm, a right on Division, a right on Walnut, and then cross 3rd Street and disband in the First Baptist Church parking lot. So if you're not already out here already, come on out and enjoy the fun. So it's not going to be long now. Looks like we've got the uh, sheriff's office leading things off here. And the grand marshals of our parade, Melanie Stotts, Miss Southwest Arkansas. And we have Reagan Carlisle, the Diamond State Princess. Aren't they some beauties? 
Y'all give him a wave. Then we have Judge Joseph Wood, and he is running for the Lieutenant Governor of Arkansas. Next up, we have Warner Otis competing in the pageant. And Joel Webb said it is great to be in Hope. Next up, there is Is Isabella Dominguez. She is a watermelon pageant contestant. Coming up in the Plymouth Prowler here, we have Carly West, another pageant contestant. In the orange Jeep, we have got Tommy with land construction. Tommy Land for Land Commissioner, excuse me. Next up in the Red Chevrolet, we have two pageant contestants. Riley Elledge. And Lola Bailey. Got a float coming up next here. Looks like State Farm. That is Heather Doucette with State Farm with their employees and their children. What a cute float. Here's the Hope Piranha swim team. And that will conclude this year's Watermelon Parade. Please join us at the 45th. It's not? Where are the rest of the people? There are more cars coming. Yeah, bear with us for a little while. Looks like we've got a break in the action. Nope. It appears the hold up is people are walking in the parade. So that is holding up the parade just a little bit, but they are on their way. Y'all be sure to come down to the Water Hope Watermelon Festival at the Hope Fair Park, August 5th through 7th. Be sure to bring your water bottles and stay hydrated. Come and join in the fun.
slowly but surely they are coming down Main. So this is the first parade that we've had since the 1970s. Yes, it is. Back when the pictures were in black and white. Oh, wow. The police are directing traffic on Main Street, so please be aware of the parade if you are coming this way down 3rd or Highway 67. And you know from our vantage point here, it's good to see people enjoying the parade this year too. Absolutely. I'm glad people are out. After being, you know, locked down for so long, it's, it's good to have some way to get back to normal. Right, absolutely. See a whole lot of people with fans out here too. Yes, everybody needs to be sure to stay hydrated out here. We've got a heat index warning today, all this week, so be sure to uh, take care of yourself if you're out here in this heat. We want to say thank you to the Hope Police Department for participating and blocking off the traffic and letting traffic flow through as the parade comes through. Hi, Judge Wood. How are you? Well, thank you so much. Joseph yes, sir. Wood coming over, running for Lieutenant Governor. And this next float is for Joseph Wood. It's decorated with American flags. Thank you, sweetheart, for the candy. Next up, we have representation for Leslie Rutledge, who is running for Arkansas governor. Next up on the float here, we have Kindred at Home Community Care, Home Health and Hospice right here in Hope, Arkansas. Look at that float. It's all decked out. They got their watermelons and their watermelon teas. Next up, we have Southwest Counseling and Mental Health. Sweet little baby waving from the car. In the red Pontiac here, we have a pageant contestant, Amelia Davini. Now we've got Wendell Routon. He is a pageant contestant and he is with Routon Refrigeration. Isn't he cutie in his watermelon shirt?
Next up here we have Gracie Smiley, another pageant contestant. <laughs> Lots of fun out here tonight. Now we have Everly Sisson and Callie Honeycutt, both pageant contestants in the Watermelon Festival pageant. Coming up on the next float, we have the Burnses, Kinsey Burns, Miss Hempstead County, Kinsey and Piper Burns, both competing in the Miss Watermelon Festival competition. They're all decked out. Got little Huxley there, little Mr. Watermelon contestant. And Keegan Westlin, Watermelon pageant contestant. And Jackson Dixon, who is also a Watermelon pageant contestant. Isn't he cute? Next up, we have Addison Fitzgerald for the pageant. Followed closely in the red Dodge Ram by Liam Lowe, also in the pageant. City AC out of Nashville representing at the Watermelon Parade. There's Mr. Jeffrey Layden. Kind of at a standstill right now. Going pretty slow. Letting the onlookers get a good look. Next up, we have Abigail and Aubrey Tidwell for the pageant competition. And the bypass wrecker. Diesels, we've got Kinsley, Harper, and Hazley with Bypass Diesel and Wrecker. They are also pageant contestants. Following closely behind, we have Nick Ward running for county clerk. Coming up right behind Nick Ward, we have got Parker and Abigail, who are also pageant contestants in the watermelon pageant this year. There's Tiny Miss, Jaya, and Jade Simmons. <coughs> and there's Parker and Abigail. And last but certainly not least, we've got coming up here Wally the Watermelon. Wally the, Wally the Watermelon is Drake Mathis, and he is joined by his best friend, Riley Brandt. And bringing up the rear is the Deanne Fire and Rescue. 
Chief Justin Devinney was recently honored in SWART Dot today's under 20, 20 under 50. And this will wrap up our watermelon parade. Very first one since the 1970s. We hope to continue this tradition. We hope you all had a good time, whether you were watching at home or whether you were on the sidelines. Come on out and uh, see all the festivities. Have fun at the Watermelon Festival, the 45th annual, out at Hope Fair Park. Come get all juiced up. <laughs>